my name is Jean Russell and I come from England. I've lived in Italy for 20 years and uh, I'm organising a summer camp this summer in the month of June, the last two weeks of June. Our association is called Polyglot and we've been organising camps for the last nine years and I'd like to introduce a couple of my teachers. Hello, my name is Carrie. Um, I live in Fermo and I've been here for about three months now. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm from the U.S. and I've been here for a couple of days and this is my second time in Italy. Jean, let's talk a moment about this association called Polyglot. How does this association uh, get to life and what's the purpose of it? Okay, we started about nine years ago when we came into the area and we realized that there was no English in the area at all. And we were really taken aback and appalled at the level of English in uh, middle schools and elementary schools. And so we created this association with the idea to work with mother tongues from the area and all the people that come from other countries like America or England or Australia or New Zealand that come and help us in the summer because it's a fantastic way to immerse the children in a full immersion English camp in a real way. They have fun, they do English lessons, they do art and craft in the afternoon, they go to the beach, and they're having fun. And um, At the same time, they're learning English. Girls, uh, you've been already working with children, so how do you see this experience going on here in Italy? I think it's a different type of teaching. Um, when I was working with children with autism and Down syndrome, I was in my own culture, I was teaching in my own language, but here it's, um, it's different because I am also learning um, from the children as well and I think it's very important that you have patience with them and it's um, it's a very different experience so I, I'm really looking forward to it and I think it's going to be a great opportunity. Uh, I definitely I've been I've worked with like different cultures before like with children because the camp I've worked at before is very international and I feel like it's going to be a great experience for the children themselves and also for us as teachers because uh, honestly I don't really know that much Italian and I'm, I'm planning on learning some from the kids which is kind of cool because we're going to be teaching them and they're also going to be teaching us at the same time very great experience. Uh, do you think you will also teach something American to these Italian children? I think that it's most important that I would really like to take from my own roots from the South and kind of incorporate that into their learning and to show them a really good time and that there's more out there than just Fermo or Milan. <laughs> you know, that you can go to different places and, and really in, enjoy the culture and the life there as well. Yeah. I also feel like they'll be kind of teach them and be kind of open-minded, like because you know they have so like, they know stuff from like movies and TV shows so, like America and all these other countries, and they never I don't think some of them ever really met like American people. So I feel like it's just going to be a great experience for everybody to like learn from each other. So you said, Jean, that the program will be structured with arts and crafts and probably I don't know read your, uh, readings and other things. Could you give us more details about it? Okay, the, uh, we actually organise the day that the children arrive in the morning. We do some activities in the garden as a group all together, warming up activities. And then they, they go into small groups of maximum 10 in each group where they're looked after obviously by one teacher and a helper from high school. Uh, the idea of the lessons, they're all structured towards the second week because the second week we do a show in English with music, songs, skits, so little scenes from plays and things, where they can all take part in, a, you know, in very simple ways, some of them simpler than others, but the kids have a chance to actually do something in English, which is absolutely wonderful. Uh, and then, uh, so, th so when they arrive in the morning, we do lessons in the morning. Then we go to lunch at the Barracuda, and at about 2 o'clock we do arts and crafts in the garden. So each day we have a different craft. For example, one day we might be doing, a, I don't know, a frame. Another day we'll be doing um, painting. We're doing masks. We've got different activities for every day. And at the end of the day, from about 4 to 6, we go to the beach. Obviously, weather permitting. If it's a nice sunny day, we go swimming. If it's not sunny, we do games on the beach, make sandcastles, and play lots of games with them. So they get also a sport side to the activity as well so it's uh, it really is a full immersion and they have fun that's the main thing is to have fun English style okay then thank you very much for introducing this whole big experience that will happen here in uh, Riva Fiorita Villa dei Orleandi yeah is there something you want yeah. to add to this 
I just obviously like to thank the town hall, obviously, for the use of the villa, because they've been there letting us use the villa for the last nine years. And they're always fabulous with us. You know, they let us use the tables and the chairs. So we have to say a big thank you to all the people in the town hall, not just the mayor, but all the people that work in the town hall. And also to the Barracuda, where we go and have lunch. Okay. Have fun. Thank you. Thank Success. You thank you. Okay.